Hello guys, welcome back to another episode of Android application development tutorial. So in today's episode, we are going to learn about how to working with the menus in Android. So in Android version 3.0 and above, there is action bar is available. So for 3.0 and above, you have to place the menus on the action bar. But for versions 3.0 and lower, there is a menu button is available on all the devices but the menu button is already deprecated so you have to place the menus on the action bar so create a project in android studio so you have to make sure that the project minimum sdk version is 3.0 this is because we are going to place the menus on the action bar the action bar is available from 3.0 onwards that's why i ask you just make sure that your project minimum required sdk version is 3.0 so here i already created a project in android studio the minimum sdk version is 3.0 so before going to make any changes on this application now i am going to run this application so click the run button so now the project is available on the virtual device so on this activity this top black ribbon is called the action bar so you can see at the right side of this action bar there is three dots are available this is an icon this icon is called the overflow icon in android the meaning of this icon is there is something hidden behind this icon so if you select this icon you can see there is an options there is some options are available this is called an options options menu in android so in this project we are not change anything but we have an options menu on the action bar this is because when you create a new project in android studio the android studio will automatically insert an options menu into the action bar of the activity that's why this action bar is available this um, options menu is available on the action bar okay so we have to analyze this project how the android studio will add this options menu into the action bar first we have to analyze the main activity.java file so we have to check out what are the code segments added into the main activity.java file for displaying the options menu on the action bar here is the first method on create we familiar with this method because this is one of the activity lifecycle method and here is the another method called on create options menu this is a new met new menu for us new method for us and here is another method called on options item selector this is also not a familiar method okay actually this method on create options menu this method is responsible for displaying that options menu on the action bar this method will actually create that particular options menu on the action bar and the purpose of this method on options item select the purpose of this method is to handle the click events of the menu items okay so we have to check what are what are what are the code segments inside this method here the get menu inflator this method will actually actually return an object of menu inflator so here is a menu inflator object and by using that object we call the android studio called a method called inflate so there are two arguments for this method first one is the resource first one is an xml resource and second one is the menu argument so here for this method on create options menu here already we have an argument called uh, the menu this is an object of menu class and for this method inflate the second argument is the menu object okay and here is the first argument this is an xml resource file r dot menu means there is a folder called menu is available on the resource folder we can check it out so this is the resource folder if you expand this resource folder you can find out a, a folder called the menu is available on the resource folder so there is something available on this menu folder called an xml file the name of the xml file is menu main okay we can check it out so here i am going to expand that particular menu folder 
you can see an XML file is available on the menu folder with the name menu main here actually it inflate this XML file okay so this statement is responsible for placing this options menu on the action bar okay and now we can check it out what are the components inside that particular XML file so now I am going to open the XML file okay so here for this XML file the root element is menu this is the root element of course there are some namespaces are available for this menu root element and this is the item there is only one item is available on the options menu called the settings so you can see it here there is only one item is available with this menu this one and it has an ID also there is a title settings actually this is referred from the strings.xml file with identifier action settings we can check it out go to the values folder open up the strings.xml file here it is action settings and the value is settings this is actually displayed on the action bar settings okay so again go back to main menu menu main.xml file of course here is a title is available and there is some order category also there is a show us action is available which is displayed as never that means it is hidden on the action bar okay so all these things are automatically added by Android Studio the Android Studio will automatically add an options menu on the action bar now I am going to delete all these items first one here I am going to remove the on options item on options menu from the main activity.java file also I remove the on options item selected we are going to recreate all these things okay so for adding a menu in Android first thing you have to create a separate XML file for the menu layout so you have to place that particular XML file inside a folder called the menu that particular folder is available on the resource folder so first thing you have to place an XML file on the menu folder so here I am going to create a new XML file so right click the menu folder and create a new and select the menu resource file okay and here I name the file as my menu and click OK now here we have we got a new XML file called uh, my menu on the menu folder so here I am going to add some menu items add an item you can add an item using item attribute the first thing you have to provide an ID for the item so here I am going to provide an ID using ID attribute plus ID I name it as ID search okay and the second attribute you must use is the title you have to add a title for the item so use the attribute Android title here I am going to use a title from the strings.xml file so add the string I name it as title search okay now we have to add this resource into the strings.xml file so go to the strings.xml file and add a new string resource change the name into title search okay and put some values I name it as search now go back to my menu.xml file this is title search there is some spelling mistake okay now it's okay so now I add only a single item now I am going to add one more item I change the ID into share ID share 
okay also change the title into title share so now we have to add this particular resource into the into the strings.xml file so go to the strings.xml file and add a new string resource change the name into title share put some value okay so now here we have a new XML file inside the menu folder called my menu and the, here the root element is menu and there is two items search and title is available search and share there are two items search and share is available so now here I am going to add this menu into the action bar so go to the main activity.java file so for adding a particular options menu into the action bar you have to overwrite a method called on create options options menu override this method ok so here for inflate that particular XML file into the action bar first thing we need an object of menu inflator so first you have to create an object of menu inflator I name it as menu inflator and you can just call the method called uh, get menu inflator this method will return an object of menu inflator and now by using this object of menu inflator you have to inflate that particular XML file so menu inflator and call the method called inflate here you have to put two arguments first one is the XML resource and second one is an object of menu class so here we already got an object of menu class as parameter for this method on create options menu so the first parameter for this method is the XML resource file so here the menu XML is available on the menu folder so r dot menu dot the XML file name is my menu and the second argument is an object of menu class so you have to pass the menu class object so here we successfully inflate an options menu so you have to return true okay now we complete the coding so now here we add <coughs> another new menu into the action bar of the main activity so now we can check it out so now I am going to run the project okay now we have the application available on the virtual device so if you select the overflow icon here we got another two menu items search and share so this is the options menu which is recently created okay so this is how we simply add an options menu into the action bar of an activity so now I'm going to make some changes on this menu so go to my menu.xml here there are two items search and share okay so now I am going to add some icons for these items so here this item have only one title and ID now here I'm going to put some icon for these items so if you put some icon for the item instead of title the Android system will display the icons so we need some icons so here we have two items search and share so here I have the icons for search and share so I copy these two icon now open Android studio now go to the drawable folder right click the drawable folder and paste the icons and I put the two icons on the drawable MTPA folder click OK click OK now here we have the two icons action search and action share on the drawable folder these two icons are .png files now here I am going to add another attribute into the item so Android icon it is available on the drawable folder this item is the search so we have to use the icon for search I see action search now here is the second item share 
so here I am going to add another attribute here the icon name is share okay now we have title and icon for these two items but if you run this application again instead of title the Android system will display the icons for these items okay now we can check it out so now I run the application again okay now we have the application available on the virtual device so now we have icons for the two items so if you click the overflow icon yeah there is some mistake the icons are not showing up it only display the title yeah this is a mistake from my side okay forget about it I just remove the icon attribute we will discuss it later I just remove the icon attribute okay it's a mistake from my side so now on the action bar there is an option menu that contains two items search and share so now here the two items are hidden using the overflow icon suppose you want to you not want to hidden these items you, you want to display the items on the uh, on the action bar in, in such cases you have to use another attribute called the show us action so here I am going to make here I am going to make these two items are always available on the action bar so here I am going to add another attribute called the show us action and if room means if there is sufficient space is available on the action bar it will display it always means it always displayed okay so I use if room that means if there is sufficient space available on the action bar this item will be available on the action bar okay so there is a mistake what is that okay we need to add some namespaces so go to the previous menu XML file here you have to copy this namespace now come back to the new XML file now add the newly newly copied namespace here again the same error yeah you have to use the correct namespace identifier here it is app so instead of android you have to write app okay so now this item the first one search item is always displayed on the action bar so we can check it out so now I'm going to run the application again okay now we have the application available on the virtual device now look at look into the action bar now here you can see the search item is always displayed on the action bar so when you select the overflow icon there is only one item share item is available the search is always visible on the action bar this is because there is sufficient space is available on the action bar okay so now we have only title for these two items so now I am going to add the icons for these two items using Android icon attribute. The first one is the search icon. So use the IC action search icon. Also add an icon for the second item share item using icon attribute destroyable IC action share okay so now these two items have both title and icon and the first item is visible on the action bar and the second item is hidden using the overflow icon so what happened if we run the application again so now I am going to run the application again okay now look into the action bar instead of title it will display the icons for the search okay so if you're using both title and icon for an item if that particular item is visible on the action bar the Android system will display the icon instead of title so if you select the overflow icon you can see for the share item it will display the title but here for the share item icon is also available for share item but the Android system will display the title for the share item because it is not available on the action bar it is just hidden using the overflow icon okay so now I am going to change this one also visible on the action bar so show us action if room yeah instead of Android change this one into app 
so now I am going to run the application again okay now look into, look into the action bar now there are two items the search and share but for the two items there is no title there is only one there is only icons are available this is because the two items are now visible on the action bar so the Android system will display the icons instead of title and also you can see that here now the overflow icon is not available because there is no hidden items on the action bar all items are visible on the action bar I hope you enjoy this video so in the next episode we are going to learn how to handle the click events of the menu items thank you for watching see you in the next episode